Did he say Vince? That's right, sir. We're partners. Well, uh, sort of like. Is he a tall, dark chap here? Navy man? That's right. He used to be a lieutenant in the Navy. God is God. You will take us to him, yeah? We go now. I'll take it to him gladly, but he's, uh, he's not what I'd call sociable-like. No, he want to see us, though. <laughs> um, Dutch and I were two of his favorite gun captains. In his days of glory. Hey, boy. <laughs> oh! Let's see the woman that never well, I never. Josie, isn't it? Forgive my appearance, I wasn't expecting company. Oh, good evening, ma'am. Is this the lieutenant's little woman, huh? He always had an eye for a beauty. I beg your pardon. But we've come to pay our respects to your husband. Oh, she and his wife? Oh, what does it matter so long as you're happy together? How dare you? That's Miss Morton, from the big house. She's gentry. Oh. Oh, my humblest apologies, ma'am. The lieutenant. Where's the lieutenant? Out. Where? I don't know where. Oh, don't torment yourself, Dutchie. Let the man come to us. Is there anything in the house for a thirst, boy? Rum and brandy. Oh, rum tum tum to the sound of the drum. We'll send the sinner to kingdom come. Oh, Steve. Mr. Jack won't mind. They served under him in the Navy. Well, sit down, Dutchie. He's like a bear in a cage, isn't he, man? Uh, now, that's what I call a trim vessel. Set loose your guns. Prime. The gun drill, man. The crew would be a dead duck if they didn't stick religious to their gun drill. The lieutenant was very particular about that. Aim your guns. Fire. Was Mr. Jack a good captain, then? He was the stuff legends is made of. Yeah. But it was us, his men, who paid at Finisterre. Why, what happened then? Mad Jack, the lads called him. He was the youngest commander the Cassandra ever had. It was January 97 he took command of her. A fine ship. Bragantin. Square it, like this. Sixteen guns, carronades. They could throw a 64-pound ball no great distance, but by God, when it landed. We chased the French from Banter Bay all the way to Finistère. It was my son's first battle. That boy is very like Peter, my son. What age are you, boy? I, I'm not really sure. Uh, quite old, I imagine. He would have been 15. Well, what happened to him? Finished her. You should have seen the lieutenant in those days, man. The cut of his uniform is so fine. He still got that. His uniform where? Uh, up there in that old sea chest. Fetch it down, Dutchy. You'd better wait until he gets back. He doesn't like people messing about with the sea. Oh, he won't mind his old shipmates uh, taking a look. Oh, honestly, he's right. You shouldn't be doing that. There's easy ways of opening that, you know. Ah, uh, is that not a fine plumage, huh? 
Lieutenant Eggert, at your service. Now you've seen it, put it back. Put it on for me, will you, Dutchie? Well, what do you think? Hmm? If I'd worn this on my way back from Finisterre, would my nan have stayed true to me? A woman needs two arms around her. What do you say, man? Do I cut as fine a figure as your lieutenant? Very smart. Do I now? I had a woman love me once. As beautiful as you. Aye. Aye, she turned away from me too! Lieutenant. Take that off. No offense intended, sir. Take it off. They served on you, on the Cassandra. I met them in the Raven. Gun captains Agit and Van Reisenink, uh, best known as uh, Dutchy. You remember us, sir? Agit, yes, I remember you. Oh, well, yes, of course you would, sir. After Finisterre, there weren't so many of us left to remember, were there? Are you still in the Navy? Uh, no, sir. No, uh, more what you might call debt collectors. Do you also remember my son Peter? He was powder monkey. He carried cartridges for my gun crew. I remember. Absent friend. Will you drink with us, Lieutenant? Honest, he'll see you home. Well, not before she's heard the tale of your famous exploits. The past concerns only those that shared in it. But so many of them are dead. Who will take their part? It's too early to break up the party. What is it you want? I told you. We're debt collectors. And you owe us your life. Listen the wind. Like the cries of a dying man. How have I wronged you? You killed my son. For that you have to pay. You lost me my arm. Made orphans and widows of our shipmates, wives and children. Jake. What are they saying? Are they mad? If it is madness to want justice, then yeah, we are mad. Not yet, Dutchie. He must have a fair hearing. Put on your coat, Lieutenant. For the lady's sake. You cut us? This is the court martial you never had before. Boy, pour us another round. You shall judge for the son Duchy once had, and you, ma'am, for the love I lost. I ain't fit to judge him. I don't know nothing about the Navy. You know about pride? And it was his pride that destroyed 40 good men and boys just off Finisterre. We were part of a squadron just off the French coast. During the night, a fog came down and we got separated from the other ships. But at sunrise, suddenly it cleared and there by God in front of us, anchored in the mouth of a river, was a French frigate. Our brave captain here ordered us to attack. 
and us with only 16 guns to the French's 50. We were at war. You had no authority to attack a frigate without support. That's regulation. She pounded us to pulp. Dutchy and his crew were among the first to be hit. They carried him below unconscious, but his son was unheard. So I took him with me to help operate the forward gun under the quarterdeck. Quarterdeck? It's the covered area there. We got off three direct hits, one after another. And then the, the same shot that took off my arm killed the boy and the other lads moments before the frigate blew up. So you won then? Oh, it's a lucky shot. Hit their magazine and up she went. But by then, the Cassandra was like a death ship. With this glory seeker at the helm. Now you understand why he must pay. We lost so much to satisfy his thirst for glory. While he lost nothing. And, and there was no court martial? Oh, the gentry look after their own. There was an inquiry. He got off with a reprimand. He resigned his commission. He should have hanged you. So that's it. That's why you prefer the life of a smuggler to the antique regulations of the Navy. They wouldn't even have you. Is that what you believe? But he won, didn't he? He, he sunk with Frenchy. And killed my son! No, that's not what I believe. Dutchy, you place him against the wall. No! You lady, you'd better get out of here. And you boy. You asked us to judge this, Mr. Agert. How can I judge for his son? I haven't even done Mr. Jack's side of it. Look, when you get out of here, the barrier. Why did you attack when you could have run, Jack? The wind was in the Frenchman's favor. We'd have been outsailed, outgunned. Attack was our only hope either that or strike our guns. Did you knowingly disobey your orders? Yes. Then that's enough. I wasn't the only one to disobey. Three days before the action, you were put on a charge. Remember, Dutchy? Your gun captains must have talked about it. He was relieved of his duties and his gun team dispersed amongst the other crews. Faulty maintenance had made his gun unsafe. Look, three perfect hits, one after another. You don't do that with a faulty gun. You've taken the boy with you under the quarter deck, and it was there you say a French shot killed him. Him and many more. The enemy fire was concentrated on the deck where the main batteries are situated. The quarter deck was never hit. Not true. In Port Agat showed me where Peter fell. There was much damage. But not from the French. Oh, don't listen to him, Dutchy. He's guilty. The court has reached its decision. Let's finish where we started. Step away, Dutchy. Let him speak. You say the French did not fire on the quarter deck. Who then? How many men can handle a gun with safety, Dutchy? It's best 12, but never less than eight. How many men did you have with you on the quarter deck gun, Agat? Look, out of the way, Dutchy. I'll try his mouth and get out. What are you saying? Agat tried to operate an unsafe gun. Insufficient crew. It misfired. Killed his son. Look, you're a liar! You're a liar! You call my beauty unsafe, but I knew different. When we were down to three working guns, I, I gathered up the boy and two others and woke my beauty up and... You tried to operate the gun with two men and my son? It would have been enough if I'd played the part. But he was powder monkey, not gun. I gave the boy a chance to be a man. You let him sponge the gun? What does he mean? When the gun fires, sometimes there's burning left in the barrel. It skills work. If it isn't doused out, it can explode the fresh cartridge. It skills work. Don't, don't accuse me, Dutchy. It was your son that caused the accident. For years, you say... It's the lieutenant's fault. And now you blame my son? 
But all the time it was you. My friend! You! Dutchy Lounge! You can't blame me, Dutchy. Look, if your boy had Don't look at me like that. You can't blame me for any of it. <laughs>